Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great day today. Uh, I've got a little bit going on in the shop and it's been a little while since I published anything on this channel so I figured I'd do a little uh, vlog video update thing and uh, show you what I've got going on. And there's a lot that I've got going on. So, um, I went back to City Hardwoods, got nice lumber. Yes, this as you can see, is on my workbench. My whole shop is trashed right now. I'm in the middle of making something, uh, which I'll get into in just a second. But uh, two weeks ago, I think about two weeks ago, I went back to City Hardwoods in Birmingham, Alabama, and got some really nice wood that I'm really excited about using for my up to upcoming coffee table build. And um, so th this is... On my workbench, you can't you can't see the whole length of it, obviously, but this is 20 inch wide mahogany, and it is just shy of one inch thick, and it's already surface planed, so that's why I have it. I've got two layers of this clamped to my workbench with some calls, and it is it's been sitting like this for about a week and a half now, two weeks, something like that, uh, acclimating to my shop. And because this is already surface planed, I, I will have to. Um, use a hand plane to, to touch it up and everything because there are still mill marks on it but it is already planed and it is already right at an inch or a little bit less than so um, I was just really worried about this thing twisting like a potato chip so I clamped it down and hopefully everything should be alright but the cool thing about this is it's 20 inches wide so the coffee table that I'm going to be building is going to have a single board for its top which is it's pretty cool to think about um, it's going to, I'll just put a, actually I think that's on the next thing, uh, upcoming, upcoming coffee table build, show design on screen. So this is the design that I came up with. It's kind of a Krenoff inspiration type piece. So I, I'm, I'm excited to, um, to, to build it. The, the whole base and all of the drawer fronts, actually all the drawer components are going to be ambrosia maple with the, uh, case components being this mahogany so it's it's gonna look pretty cool and i want to do exposed proud dovetails and chamfer all that and yeah i'm really excited to work with it but the reason i haven't gotten started on it was twofold number one i wanted to uh, let this acclimate to my shop for as long as possible and number two which is the next thing on my list a hickory workbench to sell nope uh no so <clears throat> While this was acclimating, I was thinking of something else that I could do, something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, and that is just build another workbench. I, uh, bigger projects are enjoyable to me. I find, I don't know, maybe it, the smaller projects you do get a quick win type of feel, but the larger projects that I make, I get more of a sense of accomplishment, if that makes sense. So one day last week or the week before, I was like, let's build another workbench. Let's use some of this hickory because I've got so much hickory laying around. And that's what I did. I built another workbench uh, identical to my pine workbench, and it's all made out of hickory. Uh, I've been showing the progress pictures on my Instagram, so if you aren't already uh, following me over there, go check out my Instagram page, and you'll see a bunch of uh, images and progress on this workbench. Uh, today, after I finish this video today, I'm going to flush up all the joints and pretty much call the workbench done. I will have to mount a leg vise which I'm going to save for a separate video because the leg vise on this workbench was a little bit of a homemade solution and the hub was turned on a lathe. I had so many people say they just don't have a lathe or don't have access to don't have the resources to make this particular screw assembly for the leg vise so I picked up an inexpensive one and I'm going to show just a different option as far as getting a leg vise on a workbench. So that's going to be probably another video of that. And then the dog holes. And I was thinking about using a, uh, what's it called? A Veritas inset vise for the end vise. Or may not, or may, I may just not even put an end vise on it at all. Uh, but I, that's what I was thinking about. So we'll see on that. Whatever I decide, I don't know. Uh, what else on my list? Oh, so back up. Yeah, the whole reason for me making that workbench was to make it to sell and use that money to buy some more hand tools because I have an addiction, I guess. Um, but as I got this thing completed, I'm like, you know what? 
I want to keep it. My one of, one of the goals that I wanted to do for 2018 was to replace my assembly table with a second workbench, which I had already came up with a design, which I'll show on the screen, for a larger shaker style workbench, a three foot by eight foot workbench with a bunch of drawers down below. And I don't know if I am or am not going to complete that. It was just kind of like a spur of the moment idea. Uh, but the idea of replacing my assembly table with a second workbench is something that I've been wanting to do for a little while now because I've seen how much how much more I value this workbench surface over the assembly table work surface and how much I just find myself working here and not over there. And then the assembly table just becomes a clutter catcher at that point. Uh, I would benefit more in the shop from a... Um, a claustrophobic standpoint getting rid of some of that space and having a smaller table there so uh, instead of selling that workbench I've decided to keep it for the time being and get rid of the assembly table so instead of a workbench and an assembly table I'll have two workbenches um, which I've talked about this previously uh, there's nothing wrong with the Polk workbench style table if it suits your specific needs it's a fantastic design um, I really like it, still promote it, even though it's not my own stuff. Um, but it, it just leaves you wanting more in regards to hand tools and certain tasks. So the way I look at it is um, a workbench can do everything that it can do plus some. So that's why I'm wanting to do two workbenches. So I'm going to keep this hickory one maybe for a couple months and sell it and build something bigger if I need something bigger or if I like this after a few months and say I don't really need that much more space then I may end up selling it again and replacing it with another pine workbench. I still really like using lighter or softer woods, relatively softer woods uh, for a workbench because the whole idea of you, you dropping your piece or um, Basically, I would want the workbench to take the abuse rather than my project if I throw it around on the workbench. And I, I don't see anything wrong with the pine workbench. I really don't. Uh, I got to rambling just just uh, for a second. So next on the list, uh, working with hickory isn't bad sometimes. So this, <clears throat> this new workbench is all hickory. And working with it with hand tools, you really got to watch the grain direction because it is... It's, it's horrible to work with sometimes and uh, I was having a fit with it on my planer it just as soon as the rough sawn surface was removed and I was starting to get down to the uh, milled surface my planer was just having a fit with it so um, I've, I've got a lot of hickory and I'm kind of looking forward to using it all up so I don't have to work with it anymore um, let's see I already said workbench replaced the assembly table Oh, speaking of all of the hickory that I'm working with on the workbench, I've got a crap load, which is a lot, of offcuts from it that are all hickory that I need to do something with. Uh, for whatever reason, I did not use a lot of the material that I started milling for, you know, just poor grain choice or defects or splitting or too bad of a cup bow or twist or something like that. So I've got a pile of offcuts that I need to make something out of. So I think as soon as as soon as the workbench is done, as soon as the assembly table is out of here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and mill up as much of those scraps as possible and make a run of like 15, 20, 25, I don't know how many cutting boards uh, just to get rid of a lot of that scrap. So that's going to be kind of like a production day in the shop. And then um, last on my list is to promote my giveaway. So there is a giveaway going on on my website, Sean Stone's website. Um, we are giving away the uh, dartboard cabinet we made in the end of 2017 and also included in that is uh, it's a pickup only kind of situation. Uh, kind of like a day in the shop, hang out in the shop with us for a little bit and we'll go uh, eat lunch or something. Uh, basically it'll be a fun day more than winning the project. Uh, we also have a couple other things on the giveaway as well, and you don't necessarily have to be local or don't have to be, um, don't have to come pick up the grand prize in order to win something, or you don't have to be in the United States. So there's that. Uh, I'll have a link for it in the description below. And I've rambled for quite a bit. My coffee's kicking in, and I gotta get to work on this. So I'll see you later.